Okay, let's uh, take a walk around this 1984 stroke 85, certainly on a B registration. Land Rover 90 2.5 diesel hardtop. Finished in marine blue, which seems to be the original colour. Um, standard vehicle basically, still on steel wheels. Paintwork wise, it looks as if it's been repainted apart from the bonnet perhaps. Um, but all standard, it's got rear mud flaps on it, it's got agricultural tow pin with electrics. Um, rear mounted spare wheel holder, although at the moment there is no spare wheel. If um, something comes in with, with extra wheels, we'll, uh, we'll put a wheel in this, but um, as it stands, we haven't got a spare wheel for this one. Um, that's about it really. Quite a smart vehicle actually, we'll go around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Um, front bumper's a bit crinkled in the offside front corner there. As I say, it has been re-refinished re, um, re in the original marine blue. Looks like it's been done fairly well. It looks like it's a combination of, um, sort of brushing and rollers, really, but not a bad job all round. I think the only bit that hasn't been done is possibly the bonnet, because that looks fairly original paintwork-wise. Um, there's the usual sort of uh, paint loss and chips and stuff around the um, around the front end of the bonnet, um, and the light covers are faded, but uh, you expect that on one that's at this age. Uh, but bonnet-wise, yeah, pretty uh, original and ungot at. There is a sort of a large depression in the bonnet just there. Um, sort of a, a small dent about around there. Broken through the paint, hasn't broken through the bonnet. A couple of smaller dinks just there. Uh, and in actual fact, the bonnet on the near side here um, is slightly pushed in. It should sort of sit proud to the wing up here, but it's sort of pushed in a bit at the back um, and folded over slightly there. It's um, yeah, been, been sort of damaged at some point. It looks like it's been scuffed all the way up here. Not quite sure what's uh, what's happened there. Scuttle on the near side. Um, all looks very good indeed. It all looks nice and smooth and correct. Whether it's had the replacement panels in it or not, I don't know. But if it has been done, it's been done very, very well indeed. Quite like that. Um, all good around the scuttle vent tops. No problem at all there. Uh, screen is all good. Roof is fine. Um, near side front wings go back to this. Near side front wing is... Um, dented sort of around here it's been pushed in a bit and the modesty cover is that's one the the eyebrow uh, is consequently a little bit um uh pushed in at the side there but yeah slightly dented near side front wing but it looks like it was done before it was painted shall we say um just looking in there looks like the uh, the chassis has been uh, covered in schultz but um looks like a good job underneath all that all round um a post all looks good on the near side no uh, no evidence of, um, of work or anything, or uh, filler or anything like that. Certainly no evidence of it. Near side modesty cover is a bit crinkled, especially at the back there. The back section's a bit, um, a little bit pushed in. Near side door, no electrolytic reaction on the door. Um, let's have a look at the frame. Frame actually feels very good. Just a bit of surface rust bubbling. Oh, a little small hole in the back of the frame, but it's a long way from needing. Uh, needing doing this uh, this near side door just starting to, to uh, the frame just starting to go at the very back corner um, but pretty good actually uh, all looks sort of good and original inside there in the floor pans interior wise it's standard sort of you know agricultural land in other words ripped seats certainly seat uh, seat the seat back on the passenger side has seen better days uh, middle seat base is ripped driver's seat is fine actually apart from a small repair to the to the backrest but the driver's side isn't bad at all no headrest on the passenger seat either um, it's got a radio and then an aerial, which the radio's connected, but it doesn't seem to have any speakers in it, so um, no sounds coming out at the minute. But probably fine if you put some speakers in it, may well work. Can't guarantee that though. Uh, otherwise, interior is, you know, standard agricultural landing with easy, easy clean type interior. Everything's all there. Doors shut well. Near side rear wing is all good, um, except just where the modesty cover's bent in a bit. It's just sort of come away from the uh, the eyebrow a bit just there. Um, really need recolouring these... Um, these eyebrows because they've had uh, sort of, I don't know what that is on there but um, could do with a fresh coat of black on them um, off side, near side van van side is good around the tail end it's all good as well no problems to uh, to highlight really there that all looks quite nice um, in the back here forget my bag and stuff that doesn't come with it it's all fairly straightforward and, uh, and tidy in the back here it's been plied on the um, the uh, the floor. Um, the rear door card is obviously seen better days, but the door frame itself at the bottom is good actually. 
tiny, tiny hole just uh, sort of near the front there, but apart from that, that shouldn't feel too bad at all. Um, feels reasonably solid all around that. Um, just looking down the offside, very straight down there actually, one or two very, very minor landy style parking dinks and dents in it. Uh, we've got a hole just there in the offside rear wing, don't know what that does, or what that's for, but um, needs a little bung put in there really. Um, offside van side is good, uh, offside uh, rear wing is all nice in there, um, modesty covers fine, offside doors, good couple of minor say parking dinks, just one on the barrel side just there, carrying on round. Again, the, um, the offside uh, scuttle corner all looks very, very good indeed. If that's been repaired, that's been done really professionally, if it's been repaired. Uh, it, it's been done so well, it's hard to tell the difference. Maybe original, I guess, but um, it looks very straight. A post is good. Offside front wing is fine, just a little sort of ripply indented just down the bottom corner there, on the very front of it. Um, driver's door opens nicely. Um, slight hole in the frame on the base of the driver's door, but a long way from need again, long way from needing attention. Just slightly hold on the frame on the base. Oh, the driver's window regulator, the window doesn't go up and down, it only goes down about an inch or two. Um, the regulator needs some attention or replacement really. Uh, again, in the driver's side, it's all fairly straightforward in there. Um, it is what it is. It's an older landing. Um, door shut nicely. That's about it. My name's Simon. You can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352 or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.co.uk if you want any further information on this uh, early 90. Uh, we take part exchanges. We take debit card and Visa and MasterCard credit cards. Um, we can ship anywhere in the world. That's about it. End.